Hello everybody, my name is Rick Dangerous, and welcome to my episode 20 of my Terraria Let's Play series. This is a hardcore character playing on a master mode world. Uh, in this episode, we are going to go fishing in the corruption. I also want to farm the queen bee quite a bit uh, for um, gold, but we'll do the queen bee another time. I'm going to go put those items in the... Uh, put those items in my piggy bank for now and we want to head over to the corruption and go fishing in the corruption. the reason we want to go fishing in the corruption is we want to get a lot of ebon koi fish so we can make wrath potions wrath potions um, are going to help us in hard mode So we'll see if there's some natural water down there, and if there's not, we can use uh, wet bombs to add water. Okay, so let's just check the map. So there is water, like, way down here. So that's a good start. I wouldn't say there's a lot of it, but we could, we could definitely add to it, or we could make our own makeshift fishing hole up there. I think we'll just go with with what's here. Uh, let's go ahead and make this our area. Okay. I think that should be enough water. fishing. I'm going to use the corrupt torches. To increase our luck. Okay, and then let's just get our imps out. Some sashimi. Potions. We don't need the uh, balloon puffer fish. I didn't know you could get those in the corruption. So there's the ebon koi. That's what we want. I'm going to look up the flounder on the wiki real quick and see if that is ingredients in seafood dinner. It's not, it's just for sashimi. But I think I will pick up the flounder anyhow. Corrupt crate. Cool. I'm so used to fishing in lava that it takes so long but when you come here it's like so fast to fish and yeah we just we basically want to fish for um, a lot of ebb and koi so rock lobster must be used in seafood dinner I would think well it's made in lobster it's used in lobster tail which gives you um, the exquisitely stuffed bonus it looks like or no medium huh okay so kind of the same as sashimi I guess I'll just pick up everything, because everything can be sold. So why not? I have plenty of bait.
think I will save the crate potions though for uh, fishing in the lava so we can find those uh, the lava charm. I don't know exactly how much Ebon Koi I want. Um, if I had to think about it a little bit, I would say at least 40, maybe? Well, 40 potions. With the alchemy table, you get a little bit of a bonus when you craft these. So maybe like 30 Ebon Koi or 35 would be a good number. And that would allow me to have plenty of Wrath potions. Um, all the way through hard mode, early hard mode, some of the bosses in hard mode. I definitely want to be fishing prior to the wall of flesh so I don't have to deal with it afterwards. Although fishing still um, is going to be utilized in hard mode because that brings on its own set of uh, good gear that you can get out of crates. I'm going to research that a little bit uh, before I enter hard mode and kind of get a game plan of where I want to fish and what item I'm going to look for. It's most likely going to come out of a crate. I definitely want to enter hard mode with plenty of iron skin potions for defense, plenty of regen potions, uh, wrath, lots of food to be well fed at all times. I'm going to have mining potions, the chisel so I can look for ores quicker, calming potions, invisibility potions. This is really what it takes. Um, to play a hardcore character like this and try to go all the way to Moonlord with it. Uh, not dying once in Master Mode is very difficult. It takes a lot of discipline. I've played Terraria a lot and I've done playthroughs where I rush and go straight to Moonlord. You know, even, even in Master Mode. But, uh... Not on hardcore characters. Uh, hardcore characters, they always die for some some reason. Um, usually early on in the game when you don't have much health. But even now, like I'm doing all this prep for when I defeat the wall of flesh and enter hard mode. But if I'm not careful, you know, I could I could do all this prep, enter hard mode, and die to like a wraith or something. Um, and there's other sh things that I need to be prepared for in hard mode, like solar eclipses. Um, those, I don't think you can stop. Like, once they start, they continue all the way until nighttime, or a lunar eclipse. That'll happen all the way until morning time. So, there's no hiding. It's not like, I don't want to call it hiding, but it's, it's not like, um... If the wall of flesh is summoned, you know, you can just exit the game and come back uh, before you die, things like that. But but a solar eclipse, you know, I need to be prepared to, to defend myself for that before it happens. But if it does happen, I want to be fully stocked with potions, have an arena already built, go ahead and put the ebon koi on my hop bar so we can see how many I have. So we have 11 so far. I'm picking up the purple clubber fish just because I have so much bait. Why not? I can always sell it. I don't know what it sells for. 
Uh, but if it allows me to um, use the goblin tinkerer more to get better prefixes on my items, it's it's well worth it. So I'm just collecting everything. The rock lobster and the flounder. Um, I, I did start running low on food items, the medium uh, well-fed food items. Because I've, I've been well-fed pretty much this whole game, unless I forget to eat. Uh, so fishing in the lava didn't really give me those types of fish that I could cook into food. So um, now that I'm fishing in the corruption, I'm taking advantage of all these extra fish and making sure I catch them. I, I probably didn't even need to have a sonar potion active. Now, I have so many sonar potions because my garden is so good that um, I can basically make as many as I want as long as I have coral. I, I do notice that it's easier for me to see when I catch a fish if I have the sonar potion. Even if I don't care what it is, it's just easier for me to see that something's on the other line. So that's why I like to have sonar potions active even when I'm um, picking up everything no matter what it is. I probably could skip the bomb fish. I don't think they sell for that much. But it's it's late at night right now and when I hear the sound and when I see something on the screen, I just I click my mouse and I collect it no matter what it is. I'm definitely not getting um ebb and koi as quickly as I would like. Uh, 14 now. I, I think really the magic number before hard mode truly is going to be like 30. Because I want to I wanna do the prep work now and have plenty to take me to Moon Lord. Now early hard mode I will have like wrath potions all the time, inferno potions. I'm going to be fully buffed at all times when I enter hard mode. But eventually as I get through the early stages of hard mode I will start to become powerful enough where the risk of dying all the time isn't as great. Uh, and then I may ease off on using some of these potions and only save them for bosses. But that's why I think, you know, 30 Evan Koi, turn them into 35 Wrath Potions, that's probably a good number. I know it makes for boring uh, viewing, but for my YouTube videos, I'm going to have comments in every video that has timestamps to interesting things. So, for instance, this video. I'm trying to remember. I think immediately I came here to go fishing. So, I'll have a timestamp to say, you know, used wet bombs to set up a fishing hole in the corruption and started fishing. And then I might have a timestamp 25 minutes later where um, I'm back at the house opening crates. So you can just, you know, you can see the progress I'm making through this playthrough um, and uh, skip ahead, you know. When you see I'm coming to fish for 40 Evan Koi, feel free to click that button and jump ahead 20 minutes. Um, I just, I feel like I want everything recorded. I, I, I want this entire playthrough from day one to Moon Lord. I'm not skipping any, I'm not doing anything off camera. I want the viewers to see what it really is like trying to uh, win the game playing a hardcore character. And, you know, you can do it without fishing, but it's not as safe. And I, I, I mean, if I would die right now, like during this episode, I, I would be done recording hardcore YouTube videos. Like, I'd just upload what I have so far and be done with it. Say I survive to such and such day or whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm really taking my time. This is it. This is, uh, this is the only, the only shot I'm taking. Uh, I want to have this series on YouTube all the way up to Moon Lord without dying. That's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and mute the mic for a while and just, uh, keep on fishing.
I got the 30th uh, Evan Koi, just like I wanted. So let's teleport home and defeat this goblin army while they tear up all my day blooms. Let's go sell some of this stuff. Okay, so the purple clubber fish, I mean, it sells for a decent amount. Let's go ahead and craft this uh, sashimi. Lobster tail, I assume, is in the cooking pot. Let's go ahead and eat one of those. Put our fishing items back in uh, back in the piggy bank for now. We're gonna sell the harpoon. And now we have crates to open. Fun stuff. We have wrath potions to make. Deathweed, we're gonna need deathweed.
There's Deathweed up there, but we need the seeds. Another regret to uh, using these planter boxes. Alright, let's have some fun and open crates. Why not? Let's see. Let's open all the wooden crates. Okay. Let's open the iron crates. And the corrupt crates. Alright, we'll do a... Well, let's sort... Sell stuff. Uh, do we have a band of star power yet? I don't think we do. And let's hang on to the aglet. We're gonna sell all these extra potions. We don't need so many. Oh, we get some nice bait from there, too. Okay, now let's quick stack. Okay, copper. Tin. Lead. Platinum gold. Let's see. Where's the lead? All right, let's go sell some things and let's check our accessories. We don't want to keep too much of the same thing. And we're going to go put the uh, obsidian water walker and the obsidian rose up here so we don't lose them. Go ahead and sell. So we're at 8.4. And now we're at 8.6. So I don't really I don't really have a need to reforge some of this stuff yet so I just haven't been doing it shiver thorn is ready oh and I need to hide my imps because the, the only downside of using the sand and snow to plant your items is the imps and enemies can destroy them, whereas I guess flower pots, they're protected. But I still prefer it this way, because you get so many more seeds. We'll get some more crate potions. Puts us up to 16. We have plenty of master bait. 
So we are going to eventually go back fishing, looking for that lava charm. But the good news is, we got the wrath potions now. Um, it's just a matter of getting the death weed from the garden. But we have enough for hard mode. So, so we're going to go into hard mode with iron skin, regen, wrath, inferno, swiftness, invisibility, calming, plenty of food for well-fed buffs, and we'll have mining potions and the chisel. We also have the um, statue, the garden gnome, things like that. The The garden gnome is still down in the... Uh... Oh, those are the ladybugs. We want to get those. We want the ladybugs. Okay, so it's a windy day. So let's go hunt ladybugs. I think ladybugs come out on windy days in the forest. What are those? Angry dandelion. What the heck? Let's go look for uh, mushrooms and ladybugs. Ladybugs can be used in luck potions, and I feel like we need some luck while we're fishing. I believe you need pearls from oysters. Oh, you know what? I should check for oh, death weed. Keeping a lookout for ladybugs. And yeah, we can get Shiver Thorn. I see ladybugs, but it's just uh, leaves off the trees. I also should be picking up uh, mushrooms if we see any. Hello, nurse. It's been a long time since I've seen her. So is there any forest left? I guess just a little bit over there. Okay, and then let's teleport home and go the other way. I think I'm done planting day blooms. I have enough day blooms for the <laughs> for a whole other playthrough if I wanted. Ladybugs yeah. might only come out around the town. Let's see. Can be found in forests with a town during windy days. So yeah, they're, they're only going to spawn near our house. So we'll go back to the house. But I do want to quick check and see if there's any death weed over here in this corruption. Because I could use some more death weed seeds and plant them.
There's some. Excellent. There's some more. Here. All right, so we're gonna have plenty of rat potions now. Okay, let's teleport home and see if we see any more ladybugs. Although it looks like the wind may have stopped. So how much death weed do we have? 22 seeds. Uh, I guess I'll just... No, I don't want to plant them there. Let's go get some... Dirt and some corrupt seeds. Three should be fine for now. Oh, we need to plant the corrupt seeds first. I forgot. One, two, three. We'll plant the death weed there. We'll just need to remember to go back up there and plant more. So the ladybugs and oysters, no, um, pearls. So we have a white pearl. I think that's our only pearl. So I think we can craft those into some sort of luck potion. Lesser luck potion, yeah. I might as well make one of them. And let's see, we want to make more Wraith Potions now that we have Deathweed. Okay. We have plenty to make Spelunker Potions. Because we're going to want a lot of Spelunker Potions when we enter Hard Mode. Titan. Even shine would come in handy at the start of hard mode. So we're completely out of bottles. Would have never thought that would have happened. So let's craft bottles. Okay, and I'm just going to check 
my notes here for Titan potions. They use bone, deathweed, and shiver thorn. Um, thorns, cactus, worm tooth. So yeah, we're gonna need lots of deathweed. And then yeah, I think I think shine and. Uh, Okay, let's put the luck potion with the fishing. Get this banner in here. Okay, so... Night Owl. We're gonna do more Spelunkers. Daybloom and Blink Root. Oh, so we're finally out of blink group. And what's shine potions? I guess that's blink root too. Okay. Titan and Thorns, Spelunker, and more Wrath. Excellent. And we just started getting a little moon glow, so let's go ahead and harvest those. We're done with the bug net. All right, well, I think that's gonna wrap up this episode. Um, I still want to get the lava charm. I was hoping we would get a rainy day soon so that I could go fishing during the rainy day. Um, we can farm the queen bee a little bit. We can fight Skeletron again. I still need lots of shiver thorn. Uh, we built the Trouble House. Let's go see how the Truffle House is doing quick before I log out. I'm curious how that's going. So we probably can teleport to the jungle and then uh, run to the left from there. Go ahead and get our well-fed bonus. Oh, my sashimi is back at base. It's okay. So the truffle, you know, can't move in yet. But, uh... Oh, can we even get up there? Though? We can't get up that high. So let's go grab our sashimi. Take that. And let's get a gravity potion. Just one. Mm. So yeah, the, tr the truffle can't move in until 
uh, hard mode anyhow, but I'm just curious if the requirements are going to be met. Because I want that done before hard mode. So yeah, that we can tell by the music. Let me quick turn up the music. So I think this will count as a mushroom. Even though it's playing like night music. That is that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode.